Um, let's uh, let's move on to the next topic, and that is uh, something that Keith brought up, which is is the spine. Actually, bringing this idea of feeling into the spine, and um, so the it's an area that very few of us, it would seem, do a lot of feeling on. It's not something that gets a lot of our attention unless it hurts. And if it hurts, then we, we, we notice it a lot. But if it's not, then it kind of goes back into the, back into the pre-conscious. But if you can bring awareness to your spine and get the, um, bring it more into a, 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 a conscious connection, a conscious relationship, I think the good things happen. Most important is you notice whenever, very soon when something is not right. Because a lot of times when pain happened is because we ignored the, the, the softer signals. If your back hurts, it's because you've been going la, 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 whenever, whenever the, the, the spine is saying, uh, excuse me, uh, we, we've got a problem here. And it, it's not until it starts to scream at you that you start to pay attention and then ignore it again. So one of the things that we've done, and we do this in the uh, Reclaiming Lost Territory exercise, I like to do that now, haven't done that on this, thing, on this show in a while, and, uh, and, and it heightens your awareness of not just your spine, but the muscles around the spine, because a, a lot of times they're hypertonified, they're like, they're due to the way we stand or sit, or even sleep, we, the muscles are forced into position where they have to pre-consciously adjust to the, the aberrations in the way we're, we're stacking our vertebrae. So learning to focus on individual vertebrae and to then and relax the muscles around them to let go. And that I, I believe has a, a health giving effect. I think it allows for the energy flow to be much cleaner, less noise in the in the in the system. And since the spine is like the main trunk for the body mind connection, you want to have you want to have a clean signal coming across there. So we want to clean out the noise that comes with uh, excess muscular contraction, you know, muscular tension or even just mis misplacement of the, uh, 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 of the structure, the way that you know, if you're lined up wrong, then you're kind of creating these, these, these faults. So let's, uh, why don't we stand up and we're gonna do, uh, do that thing from the Embracing Lost Territory. Let me turn that light down a little bit, it's a little glary. Okay, so the main idea here is, you know, we're going to start by getting our three pillars in because that's uh, that really helps with everything we're doing. So let's get the uh, let's establish that. So have your feet of a, a hip width apart and feel the. Feel the weight over the balls of your feet. The weight is spread throughout the whole foot, but you're particularly accenting the balls of the feet. And just to mention it again, the, you know, the ball is not at the center of the foot, it's along the big toe line. It's along the medial line, right behind the big toe, that big knobby joint there. And you want to use that as your contact point. Knees are unlocked.
You feel yourself kind of settling down into your legs. Not, not bending the knees so much as unlocking them. Now reach with the crown point of your head. Not the top of your head, but the crown point, the, just toward the, toward the back, where the, uh, the posterior fontanelle is, the, the place, that hair whirl. So reach up with that. And simultaneously, you're sitting into your legs as you're reaching up. So you're, what are you doing? You're creating tensegrity in the spine. It's lengthening his spine as you do this. You tuck in your chin, just a little bit, and allow the jade pillow gate at the base of your skull to, to open. You're gonna feel a lengthening in your neck, feeling gentle tensegrity there. You're connecting up the energy of the earth, the energy of the heavens. And your body is a conduit for that energy. You're opening up to the big chi. Relax your lower back. Allow your pelvis to, to level out. You're flattening out the lumbar curve a little bit. Dropping your coccyx, your tailbone. And on your tailbone, there's, there's an energy point called the Wei Lu. So that's reaching down as you're, and reaching away from your Ni Wan at the, at the crown of your, of your head. That pole, those poles and oppositions are, are generating energy. Reach with your elbows. Arms are slightly rounded. Feel your clavicular knots and feel, feel like you're lifting, like there's a, a thread there pulling up on the clavicular notch, opening your chest, opening your shoulders. Point your index fingers, feel your energetic coherence. Place the tip of your tongue on the roof of your mouth, behind your teeth. And breathe through your nose. Breathe diaphragmatically. Allow your body to get very sung. And by sung, we mean to release into the intrinsic structure of the body. Feel the support of the connective tissue system, of the bones. And allow that to do the work rather than tensing your muscles. Um, now, what we're going to do is to slowly unwind the spine. We're going to, starting at the, at the base of the skull and just gradually release the muscles and, and allow the, while still supporting with uh, the uh, spine underneath, we're gonna let go of, of the muscular tension and allow the spine to go down. So, Doing it in profile. I'm, this is very accelerated. We're going to do it much slower. But the idea is that you're going to start at the very top and one vertebra at a time, you're going to let go. And you want to feel into your vertebrae. So there is my, my uh, cervical vertebrae. And then I start working on my thoracic vertebrae, my upper chest. And I start to let that go and I let that go. Notice my hands are staying very close to my legs as I'm going down. So I'm supporting with my lower back as I'm going down and I continue down until I get to my lumbar and I drop down even more. And so that's the basic idea. 
but we're going to do it now nice and slow. So we'll start to get your, get your position, reach with the crown of your head. And as you're going down, you want to continue to reach with the crown of your head. So even as, even as I'm coming down like this, I'm kind of reaching out with, with the crown as I'm, as I'm doing that. So let's, uh, let's begin here. So, so start with a very, start with the jade pillow gate. Start at the, at the base of the skull there. You're dropping your chin and feel that lengthening of your neck. Take a breath and uh, let go and then go down the neck. Take another breath. Each time you exhale, feel yourself releasing some tension. Feel into your neck and feel the vertebrae. We're still in the cervical area right now. I just feel what that feels like. You're being supported by the thoracics. And you're feeling how your neck is letting go of tension. Now we're going to start on the thoracic, right there at the at the that big one right at the top, and start to let that go. And breathe. And most of us are not going to be able to, to actually pinpoint each vertebra. But do the best you can. You're heightening your awareness. There's no pass or fail on this one. There's just you know, the actual attempt to do it. The trying is the, is the doing. The, the trying, the doing is what gives us the benefit. Each breath allows you to go down a little deeper, still supporting with your lumbar vertebrae as you're letting go one by one of your thoracic. You may have to check your legs, your butt. You want to let go of any extraneous tension there. Adjust your posture so that you're really still feeling the weight over the balls of the feet. And so now we've completed the, the thoracics. I'll just hang out there for a moment. So we release the, the cervical vertebrae in the neck, the thoracic vertebrae in the upper back. And then we're going to get on to the big guys down in the lumbar area. And slowly start to let that go. Most of us have five of those, so it's a shorter run, but it, there's much bigger energies involved. Your knees are bent, reaching from your head, also kind of reaching from your tailbone, so you're feeling your spine elongating as you go down. Relaxing your lower back, your lumbar area, down to your sacrum. Now straighten your legs and continue to drop. This time you're feeling it in the backs of your legs. You're feeling it in your hamstrings and your calf muscles. You're letting go of your back muscles as much as you can. Feeling into that. Just letting the weight of your body do the work. You're not forcing anything. Now, Bend your knees, sit down, and slowly come up. 
Straighten your legs out a little bit. Begin starting to stack up your lumbar vertebrae. We do this a little faster. Now begin your thoracic vertebrae. Stacking them up one by one. Lengthening the spine as you go. Feel your cervical vertebrae. You're stacking those up now. I just feel into that. And see if you can find a sweet spot there of alignment for your spine. Where it just, it just feels right, it feels centered. You're in central equilibrium. Now bring your hands up. And reach with your elbows, your wrists open and arch your back. Breathe and allow the weight of your arms to open your shoulders, open your chest. And I come up. Hands down. Feel your three pillars, your central equilibrium, your energetic coherence, your um, unkinking the hose. You feel the energy in your hands, feel it throughout your body, feel anything, everything circulating. Feel the circulation of your blood throughout the body. Feel your spine. Spiral down to the left and step in. Take a deep breath. And exhale and disappear the chi. Empty out. Allow yourself to dissolve into that emptiness. Occupy the gap between thoughts. Great. 